This is David with Voice Science Works. We wanted to jump into the Laurel Yanni debate today. And uh, to do so, we're using uh, Voce Vista Video Pro, which is a voice analyzer. You can see these are low frequencies of the voice and high frequencies of the voice. And Voce Vista turns our sounds into an image. So here's the famous sound. Laurel, 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 Laurel. And the question, is that the word Laurel or Yanni? To dig into it a little further, I'm going to take you to a different window where I have sung the vowel ah. Ah. Clearly, I'm singing ah. Um, and uh, notice all of the harmonics that are in my sound as I do so. Now I'm going to filter out just the lower harmonics. There's a curious thing about uh, the way we perceive sound, that we perceive vowel as specific to certain frequencies. So when I play just these lower frequencies, you'll probably hear an ooh-like quality. And if I move up to higher frequencies, I'll pick this one for example, you'll probably hear an awe-like quality. And if I move up yet to this one, you'll probably hear an awe-like quality. I'll come up to this guy up here. Let's pick this one, and this will probably sound like an ah. If I move up higher yet, we'll get an A like sound. And then higher up here, we'll get an E like sound. This concept is known as absolute timbre, and the idea again is that. We perceive certain frequencies as vowel colors or as vowel-like colors. And you'll note that all of those sounds are in my ah. Ah! Clearly I'm hearing ah. A really fun game to play is to start with the highest E sounds and to bring the um, cursor down as we include other harmonics and you can hear them all add in. all of those frequencies eventually forming my sound ah. Now, if we think about the word Laurel and Yanni going back over here, um, all of the frequencies that occur in the word Laurel occur below a thousand hertz. And all of the frequencies that occur in the word Yanni occur above a thousand hertz. Again, the vowel colors that, and consonant colors that we're perceiving in the word Laurel are all frequencies that occur below a thousand hertz. To show you, we'll make a filter box here, and we'll just bring out a thousand and below. And all the frequencies that occur in the word Yanni occur above a thousand hertz. I'll turn the Laurel one down. And now, <clears throat> I'm going to play Yanni and slowly bring Laurel in, and vice versa, so you can hear them in contrast to one another. So here you see, just by filtering out the upper frequencies, we were able to hear more clearly the word Yanni, and by filtering the lower frequencies more clearly the word Laurel. Both Our perception of both words can coexist. And here's the biggest takeaway, is that the target word, what was actually created, may be less important than what we hear or what we perceive. We get this all the time in music, uh, where we create sounds that aren't really close to the target sounds, but because of the context, people are able to understand them as different words. And so in this case, uh, if perhaps the source word was Laurel, but if you're hearing Yanni, that's as true as anything. So you can be correct as well, 
because those high frequency um, sounds are telling your ear that that word exists. Hope that helps settle the debate for you, and please keep up with what Voice Science Works is doing.